I would like to talk how to solve dip and strike problems in JLG lab. There are three types of dip and strike problems. First type, they have given to know direction of two apparent dips and amount of two apparent dips. We want to find direction of true dip, amount of true dip and direction of strike. In type 2, they have given direction of true dip and amount of true dip and direction of apparent dip. We want to find amount of apparent dip. In third type, they have given direction of true dip, amount of true dip, amount of apparent dip. We want to find direction of apparent dip. Now I am going to talk about how to solve first type problems. In a dam site, a bit of quartzite shows the dip of 30 degree along south 35 degree east. Also shows 38 degree along north 60 degree east. Determine the amount of true dip and direction of true dip and two strike. Let's start solving this problem. First, draw the direction lines north, south, east, west. Then draw a unit circle of 2.5 cm. Draw the given direction line. They have given south 35 degree east and north 60 degree east. Two lines, we want to draw it. North 60 degree east in this point and south 35 degree east. And after drawing the direction line, we have to draw perpendicular lines for the direction lines. After drawing perpendicular lines, we want to uh, draw a uh, complementary angle line from the intersection point of the perpendicular line and the circle draw a complementary angle of dip amount towards the given direction line. In south east, south 35 degree east direction, they have given amount of dip is 30 degree. Complementary angle means 90 minus 30 equals 60. I am going to draw now 60 degree line. Then in north 60 degree east direction, the amount of dip is 38 degree means 90 minus 38, 52. We want to draw 52 degree line from this point. The line which joining more than two apparent lines is called two strike direction. Now I have got these two points P and Q. I am going to join this point which is called as two strike direction. The dip and strike line are always orthogonal to each other. So I am going to write uh, perpendicular line for TSD at origin. Now hold one set square parallel to TSD line and another one perpendicular to it. Now slide it and slide the another set square until it touches the origin and perpendicular to TSD. Now in this point draw a line. Now label this point as T. DD true dip direction. Now draw again draw a perpendicular line to this line TDD or uh, draw a parallel line to this at origin. Hold a set square parallel to TST and another set square like this. Then slide this set square until it touches the origin. Now draw, draw a line here. Now I have shifted the I have shifted this line to here parallelly and 
now we want to join the lines which are intersecting by tdd and tsd call it as x and tsd and circle call it as y join these two points now the angle oxy gives the amount of true dip and angle s o x gives the direction of true dip and s o y gives the direction of strike angle o x y is 43 degree it is true dip now measure the angle s o x it is found at 87 degree this is direction of dip means south 87 degree east now we want to measure angle s o y angle s o y is found to be 3 degree this 3 degree in south west quadrant so write it as south 3 degree west and uh, in north quadrant north east quadrant also it is 3 degree only so we are going to write it as north 3 degree east now write the result as the true dip of a corset bed is 43 degree along south 87 degree south 87 degree east and strikes north 3 degree east and south 3 degree west we have completed this problem in graphical method and we want to check it whether we done right or wrong by math mathematical method in this method first draw north south and east west line and direction lines north 60 degree east line and south 35 degree east line then you know, measure the distance using the formula cot of amount of dip angle into radius of unit circle cot of 30 into 2.5 4.33 cm now measure 4.3 cm here and another angle cot of 38 degree into 2.5 3.19 means 3.2 cm here now with the help of compass help of compass 4.3 cm in now north 60 north sorry 4.3 cm on south 35 degree east line and 3.2 cm on north 60 degree east now join these two points now label it as tsd as you know that uh, strike and dip line are orthogonal to each other draw a perpendicular line to tsd at origin now measure the distance between o and x and div divided by 2.5 now measure the distance between o and x and divide it by 2.5 i have got 1.08 write it has 1 in 1.08 now using tan theta formula write find out the theta theta is equal to tan inverse of 1 by 1.08 here i got 42.7974 degree roughly equal to 43 degree i have got amount of dip has 43 degree which in uh, which i have got in the graphical method both are same okay then find the direction of true dip by measuring sox 
angle SOX is 87 degree ok I have done right next shift the two strike direction line to origin parallelly keep one set square parallel to two strike direction and another one like this and slide this until it touches origin now draw a line here now measure the angle s o and this point i have got 3 degree which is same in the graphical method also means i have done problem correctly type 2 and type 3 problems i am going to talk in my next videos